take that pulley off the front. Try this again. I took that PTO shaft off. It's going to be a first start of uh, Ford 6.6 .6 liter, they're Brazilian built motors, something I bought in, uh, oh I bought a bunch of stuff on an adventure I took, knew nothing about this motor, couldn't get it started up but for the price I thought, oh, what the hell, but it sat long enough, it was in a complete truck, see the fellas just cut the frame of the truck for an axle out from under it and that's how I bought it uh, so it was under you know it was under the hood out of the weather but uh, it sat long enough um, the alternators froze that's what them squealing squealing belts are So I gotta see if I can get that alternator to spin. If not, just take them belts off and fire it up again. Uh, I did. It was in a uh, Ford F700 uh, mid 80s. I don't know the exact date. I look on the tag there. But I did see this yesterday when I took the air filter out. It was a uh, city of Pittsburgh truck, so it was city maintained. I don't know if those miles are right. I wouldn't see why they wouldn't be. Awful low miles for a city truck. But uh, it was definitely all rusted out. So this motor has been sitting almost 10 years. And uh, now she came back to life. I don't know how long they need to set in junkyard for the alternator to seize up like that, but uh, it's definitely froze. And I just pulled the transmission off of it. That pretty easy fit there. Oh, the motor's 91. So. <clears throat> Runs out pretty good. And there's something else I just noticed here. Uh, I get in a hurry and forget things a good many times. Um, last night I didn't want it to rain here at the edge of the garage. It was supposed to. Here's my five gallon pail of diesel fuel. There are the lines, supply and return, that are supposed to go in that bucket. 
I guess I had enough fuel in the system to run.